everybody and welcome back to Allison Bakes Your Day. This week I'm baking my friend Jay's day. We are making naan. Jay requested something savory, didn't necessarily have a favorite flavor, but was really excited about the prospect of getting some delicious homemade bread. I am making some naan today because he didn't give me anything specific and I've been wanting to make naan for a while. So it's none of your business. I have my yeast that's been blooming here for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, in warm water with a little sugar. We've got some yogurt, we've got melted butter, we've got our strong bread flour with a little sugar, salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So let's begin. All right, so we are gonna make a well in the center here of our flour mixture. Oh no, flour's in the well. We're gonna add our yeast mixture our melted butter, and our yogurt. Start mixing this together with all this floury goodness. Mixing it up, mixing it up, mixing it up. Don't you dare start scraping on me today, table. Don't you dare. Shh, stop. Need a new table, need one, need it. Now that this is coming together, we're gonna bring it together with our hands now. We're gonna knead it in the bowl it comes together. Almost there, we're still leaving some stragglers behind. Get it together. Get it together, Joe. Dicky. Generously flour your work surface. Okay, now we're gonna knead this for 10 minutes. <sighs> so needy. All right, now that this has come to a smooth, elastic, cohesive dough ball, we are going to butter this bowl. I don't think it's gonna raise all the way up to the edge of the bowl, but just in case, let's just butter the whole thing. We get it, table, you're here, we get it. Thank you. In the bowl it goes. We're gonna cover it with a tea towel, so I can find one. So we're going to cover it with this tea towel so it can rise, rise. See you in an hour. It has risen. Uh -huh. We are going to divide this, ooh, so soft, into six balls. I wanna weigh this so I can make sure they're even. Okay, 687 grams, 86. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Okay, 688, great. We're going to sprinkle this over here with some flour, form these into balls. That's a nice dough ball. Sprinkle our work surface here. We're going to roll these out into a teardrop shape. They're gonna be very sad. It looks teardrop shaped, sort of. <laughs> now we have to dry fry this in a nonstick pan. I'm using my cast iron for three minutes on one side while it gets nice and puffy. Get puffy. Look at it puff up like that. Oh my, so puffy. I wanna peek. I wanna peek at the bottom. I just wanna make sure it's not burning too much. Ooh. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it. All right, it says to do it three to four minutes on each side, but like on high, but I feel like it's just gonna burn if we do that. It's supposed to have charred pieces, but I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna call this good. While it's warm, we're gonna take our garlic, butter, and cilantro mixture. And we're gonna brush it on to this. Ooh, yeah. And then we're gonna stack them one on top of each other and keep them warm in the spoil. Now 
There you have it. Naan. We did it. Actually, pretty simple recipe. Again, with bread, a lot of it is just the waiting for the rising and the proving. But this was really fun. I love naan. Um, I hope Jay likes it. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on Allison Bakes Your Day. I hope I baked your day. Let's see if I baked Jay's day. We're about to find out. Oh, yeah. Taste test. Oh, it breaks apart so beautifully. Oh, it's good. No oh, that's hot. Oh, it's good. It's so good water. Oh, it's man. really fluffy. It is just the right amount of garlic. It's chewy, but not in a bad way. It just, like, oh, it's really good. What water. would I put in it?